What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and today I'm back to talk about Warhammer 40k. Burnout, to be more exact, because when you talk about something day, night, when you review things, when you give lore, when you play the game, for years and years and years, the thing you once loved has become a chore, and you don't want to do it anymore. And even thinking about it makes you just want to get as far away from it as possible. So I'm here to talk about how I overcame that, and how maybe you guys can use this in your own personal lives to overcome anything that you've been burnt out on. Anything that you've lost happiness from to maybe get it back. It doesn't necessarily have to be Warhammer 40k or any hobby like that. But this is how I kind of overcame 40k. Because like I said, after living, breathing, eating, sleeping, everything 40k for years and years and years. I mean, it's, it's a job, honestly, <laughs> but it's a job that you're supposed to have fun and enjoy and not feel like a job. But for me, it felt like a job to the point where we, we stopped playing the game and it's been over a year since we've even touched the game. Um, and I think the way that I overcame this burnout is by finding a new hobby, finding something else that also intrigues you and just putting down the hobby that you're burnt out on on the shelf for a little bit because um, that's kind of what I did I dove back into Magic the Gathering I dove back into Yu-Gi-Oh and playing those games and just having fun especially playing them online like y you're not really spending too much money with like the physical cards or even if you are spending a few dollars here and there online it's nothing compared to Warhammer 40k because that's one of the things that really grinded my gears with the way that GW does things they put out articles and models for a new army that they want you to buy and then like a month later they finally put it out for pre-order but that week prior they're now showing you the new next army that you want to buy the new next models that are going to be amazing and it's like the hype that you originally had for that first army has now diminished and now the hype is there for that second one so it's like gw what are you doing you're going way too fast let me enjoy the things that i haven't even gotten to enjoy yet and i think after seeing this time and time again paired with all the new rules and supplements and campaign books that now you need to play the game up to date it's just too much it's just too much i i don't want to be bogged down trying to learn my army all over again when the points change when the rules change like i was really pissed when i bought the gray knights codex and three days later the points were wrong <laughs> they had to do a supplement it's like what the fuck g like gw do something like you should know <sighs> regardless of that i think that you know go getting away from playing the game for so long finding something else that you enjoy and spending time doing that is definitely so good for you. Um, then you'll, I mean, you can say, then I'll be left behind and I'll have to relearn 40k again. Yes, that's the key. That's the thing. Having so much time away from 40k, going back into my minis and looking at, you know, the painted models, the lore that I've written, the awesome games that you remember playing with your friends. Like, after t being away from it for so long, you get all these nostalgic emotions, and I think that's how you overcome burnout. You step away from it, you do something else that you love, and then you come back and you get these feelings of, oh, I remember when these Space Marines were good, I wonder how they're doing now. And it's almost like you're relearning, reliving how it was to first dive into the game, the lore, the minis, the models from the beginning. And I, I've fallen deep into 40k again, so much so that I began the hunt for the Horus Heresy novels. I'm like, if I'm playing the game, I really want to get to know the lore from the actual novels. Because I've, I've read a few novels here and there, but I've never actually like really cared to go through the whole Horus Heresy because I've read that like some of the books are just nonsense. There's some anthologies in there that don't really progress the lore. But it's like, nah, let me see what it really has to offer and I'll make that decision for myself. So I did go to some brick and mortar stores. It's kind of hard to find the novels, but I found a few. I've started reading them. I will be giving you guys my reviews on the Horus Heresy novels. And I'll also be giving you my top 10 essentials that you have to read to understand the Horus Heresy. Because there's 56 books, roughly. Plus the Siege of Terra. 
So there's a lot of books, a lot of time, a lot of money that can go into, you know, finding out the core lore of Warhammer 30K, 30K leading into 40K. But I'm saving you a whole bunch of money, and I'm saving you a whole bunch of time, and I'm saying these are going to be the top 10 books you need. So that's going to be coming out pretty soon. But that's my point. Like, the love for the game, for the lore, is there again. Like, I've, I've spent so much time away that I feel like now I can, you know, learn to love this awesome universe again. Because the grim darkness is just, oh, it's amazing. Anything with that type of aesthetic, I just fall for. And being away from it with the whole fantasy side of, like, D&D and Magic the Gathering has just, like... That's what kind of held me over until I can get back into 40k. For me, it took a year. Obviously, uh, for others, it may take a little bit long, but definitely do that in the future. Just take some time away. It doesn't even have to be some time completely away, because obviously I've been making videos, so it's not like I'm completely in the dark of what's going on with Warhammer 40k. But, you know, just step away from doing something that you've been doing for so long, that it feels like a chore, like a job. Find something you like, dive into that, maybe expand your horizons. Maybe you want to go hiking if you've never been hiking before. Or maybe you want to go camping or doing something like that. You know, explore new things and then, you know, dive back into the stuff you love. So that's just my thoughts, my way that I overcame 40k burnout. Because honestly, you could spend an arm and a leg and so much more trying to keep up with the game and I don't think it's worth it like the way GW is doing things right now is just too much too fast they need to really slow it down um, but we'll see because obviously you know 9th edition is almost done we have maybe four more factions to see the Astra Militarum the Demon Codex the Leagues of Voltan a brand spanking new army with new models and new lore Oh, I love everything about the leagues. Um, there's a playlist in the description with like eight videos. Check that out to learn any and everything about the leagues of Voltan so far. Squats are amazing. <laughs> so, see, that's another thing too. Like, I just had it with 40k and then they introduced the squats and I'm loving everything about the squats. But that's all I got for today, guys. I could go on and on and ramble. But let me know how you guys try to overcome fatigue in your hobby, burnouts. Because um, honestly, if maybe my actions don't really help you, maybe somebody else has said something in the comments that does pertain to your situation. So let's try and help everybody out. <laughs> and that's all I got for today, guys. Thank you for listening. As always, this has been the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'll be talking to you guys in the next one. Peace.